Oh, we're gonna have to cut those off for sure. We're gonna, oh, for sure we're gonna have to cut those off. Check it out. Oh man, look how many there are. I gotta use a knife for this. Mm. <laughs> I know you don't like the knife. Crazy to see their eyeballs. Ah! Let's them up. Woo! With Catch em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch them up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I got something to tell you. I've been working on a lot of things left and right, but check out our koi pond. It is looking absolutely gorgeous. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. The lappy is looking good. Everyone's looking good. But there actually is some lesions on our koi, guys. Some parasites all over our koi's face and along some of the fins. That uh, orange one over there, check it out. You probably can't see it from now, but uh, from here, I mean, some parasites on them. And none of the other fish do, which is a really good thing. But at the same time, we have to get those parasites off. Check out what we're using today to get the parasites off. Yep, some high-quality, high-tech tools, but that's going to be a little tough. We're going to figure out how to do that right now. All right, guys, so we have some work to do today. I'm going to use that in just a moment, and I'm going to put this down because first we got to feed our fish. I got the horses in the bag. <laughs> Observation tank, guys, it's very important that you have one of these if you do have koi fish, stuff like that. Check them out over here. Oh yeah, bright and beautiful. Come over here, buddy. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get that big orange koi that's coming to us right here, and we're going to have to take the parasites off. Check them out. Can you zoom into his face? Yes. Look at that thing. Yeah. You see on his face all those little dots? He has a couple of them near his 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 top fin yeah so what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to get that koi out put them in the observation tank and pluck them off with our tweezers and our knife first things first with our horses in the back guys we have Shamu and you know Shamu wants to take a whack come here Shamu come here here baby come on take a jump fly fly my child oh 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 Mr. 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 oh don't bite me ah ah got it back one more time Shamu give me a nice jump air air move oh miss miss oh that's a first come Man. on come on Come on. Oh, missed again! <laughs> What's going on today? Hey, use both eyes this time, okay, Shamu? Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to take out the koi first and put them in our tank and uh, leave them in there for a couple minutes. That'll mellow out the koi before we feed our other fish. Hey, I'm just laying this down so we can see any parasite that comes off this fish, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our big ol', I think this is a 30 gallon, it might be 20, guys. Actually, this is a 20 gallon, I remember. We're going to fill this up with water, then we're going to throw our koi in here for just a moment. Alrighty, it's top fin to be completely submerged by this tank. It's going to be a little tough, guys, I'm not going to lie. Catching this koi out of this pond with this, just this net. All the material is covered in rubber. It's flexible, you know, so the koi, if they move, the, the net will bend. It's gonna be kind of tough. I'm the koi wrangler today. Luckily with this island I can like run around this pond without actually having to run so I feel like that's gonna give me an advantage today. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, missed. Don't want to spook everybody in here. Come on. He's really healthy so that's a good that's a good sign. All these fish are so used to me scooping them up they're not even afraid of the net. Now it's going on the smaller. Yeah. Don't want to hit his head the rocks or anything. Oh my gosh. It's like back in the... I know. Back in the canal. Yeah. We're running back and forth. Come on. There you go. There we go. Oh. Got it. Okay, cool. So, this koi has been gotten. Check him out. Check it out. There's a lot of parasites on him. Oh yeah. Oh, there's some right there. There's some on his head. We're gonna have to, oh, yeah. We're, gonna, we're, we're definitely gonna have to use a knife to chop that off. Check it out. Oh, we're gonna have to cut those off for sure. We're gonna, oh, for sure we're gonna have to cut those off. 100% we're gonna have to cut those off. Okay, come on. I'm gonna leave him in here. Don't want him to hit his head like last time. Look, he's a little bit more relaxed because we handled him earlier. Now we gotta get there our we tools. Go. This big old plate of meat, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is what we're feeding our fish today. Shamu got the first piece, as always, my queen. But the rest of the monsters need to eat before we go ahead and start operating on that koi. Ladies and gentlemen, check them out. Look straight down. I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the pump so you guys can see them a little bit better. Oh, oh, oh yeah, land of the giants. But we actually trained this 45 pound Paku that we have caught just the other day. Oh yeah. That's the mating call. Look, right out of my hand. Here, yum. Look, he's back. Yeah, baby. Here, baby. Yum. <laughs> Whoa. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Relax, relax, relax. Here, get, it, get yourself a little piece. Go ahead. You missed it. Here you go. Just start chumming up the water. See all these Paco eating? 
like to get them nice and hyped up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the tilapia. The tilapia is so cool. So cool. But well, check it out. Arrow, don't eat. That's a big piece. Arrow. Dang. Just, I know. Hungry today. That huh? arowana. But this big guy is the coolest eater because he comes right up to me and eats right out of my hand. And I just caught him. Like, I caught this giant paku less than a month ago. If you check out that video, it's awesome. Oh, look. Here, here. Relax. Relax, everybody. Here's one paku. Oh. Look at this tilapia. Eating right out of my hand. I let go. That's not for you. Tilapia eating tilapia. Come here, Mega Pop. It's my favorite. Yeah, come here. Come on, son. Come on, son. Oh, here we go. Here's Mega Pop. Look at this. Look at this. Mmm. <laughs> I know, it's so cool. Here you go, Mega. Here's the Mega gonna eat. Look. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Just nice. a whole giant piece. Yeah, guys. So let's go ahead and see how that koi is doing, see if we can save him or not. But it looks like we were actually rubbed off some of the creatures <laughs> while we were just netting them. So that's a good sign, because most of the creatures have moved. Oh, look at them moving around. Oh, it's disgusting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get, get our tools. Guys, we're gonna take all the ticks and we're gonna put it on this white plate so you can see them, all right? So I'm gonna take this plate, put it right here, and then I'm gonna grab each tick one by one with this tweezers after I pry it off with this knife. Let's check it out. I'm gonna try to do it without the knife first. Oh yeah, look at this one moving. Oh my God, this is disgusting. Look at this one. Look at this one right here. Can you see that? Yeah. Oh, I got him. Ew. Oh, it's that easy. Have to use Look at this. Okay, so check it out. Check it out, guys. This is what's on the koi. I squished that one. It's really hard to see it. I'm going to get a couple more so you can see it better. Let's see if we can get... There's bigger ones than that. Right, guys, so right here, I'm going to have to literally pop this thing off. Look, they pop right off, I think. Look, see right here? See this one moving? You can see them moving. They're not attached to the body. It just came right off. So look, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one moving. Look at these. There's like three of them. Look, they come right off. You scrape them off? Yeah, you just scrape them off, but they grab back on to the koi. That's the thing. And you don't want them to get inside the gills. So I gotta have, I'm, I'm gonna grab this one before he gets in the gills. He's going to the gills. Come here, come here. Come here, buddy. It's okay. See this? Look at this, look at this. Come here, come here. Relax, relax. Um, they're, they're still on. Check it out. Yeah. Check it out. So here's this one on the gill. Got that one. Got that one. I'm just gonna keep on plucking them off. Oh, they're like little tiny parasites, guys, and they're so gross. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oof. Come on, baby. I know. Just trying to do it as fast as I can. Get all these parasites off. They're only on this fish, fortunately enough, but they will move from fish to fish. So if we don't get them off quick. And they'll spread everywhere. Like, look at this guy's tail. Look at this guy's tail. Oh, just completely covered in them around the tail. Look, they're microscopic and they have little tiny eyes. Little tiny eyes, guys. So gross. I'm just going to keep on taking them off as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah, it's still a live wild animal, guys. The worst thing about these is that if you leave just two of them on here, like, they'll all come back. So you have to pluck every single one that you possibly can. Oh, man, look how many there are. Oh. Otherwise, they'll be everywhere. So, look, this one's moving. Look at this one moving. See that? Oh, it came right off of my hand. Oh, it's on my finger. Ew. Ah. Ah! Look at that. Look at that thing moving. Hold you see on, it? Hold on. Look at them. Yeah. Oh, my God. And look how many I plucked so far on the plate. Oh, guys, this is disgusting. Oh, gross. 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 Squish. 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 Oh. Oh, there's so many. Look at look at this one. Look at these moving. Oh, look they're at like them. babies. Yeah, hold on. Let me get the knife. Let me get the knife. Once they're out of the water, though, guys, they're done. So that's why it's best to get them as many off as you possibly can. Out of the water, use a small tank. Here's another couple on his head. Oh, oh my gosh. These things are so gross. Here, look at this one. Look at that one. You can see it moving. Hold Wait, on. Is that moving? Yeah. You see it moving? You see it wiggling, guys? I think that is, that's one or two of them. It's so gross, and there's so many of them on this koi. I'm just plucking them one by one by one using this knife and that tweezer, but it's just gross. If you know what kind of parasites these are in the comments below, I've dealt with them on uh, the last Shamu before this one. I had to pluck them off her too, but if you guys know exactly what the name of this parasite is, I want you to comment that below. I gotta use a knife for this. Look how many. Oh, relax, 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 buddy, relax. I know you don't like the knife. Check it out. Look at this, how many. 
Oh my god, that's all parasites, guys. That's all parasites. Just disgusting. Catch and cook? Oh yeah, no, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> they use the water, they can swim around. Here's a big one, here's a giant. Here's the biggest one on the whole thing. It's been hiding, look at that monster. He won't even let go, look at that. Look at that, I'll put it right on my sleeve next to the other one. Now you can see how big it is. Ew. Freaking giant. Wait, don't move. It's disgusting. I know. We got most of them, look at that. It's just endless, endless, endless. They keep coming, they keep coming, they keep coming. But there's nothing you can do really if you don't catch them. Because once, once they take over, they take over. And they're like all over your fish. But they're really, they don't like do too much damage to your fish, but they can piss them off. So I'm just trying to get as many as I can off. And yeah, they huddle gross. together. Yeah, look at this. Relax, buddy. Relax. Gonna make sure you're breathing while we do this. Gonna make sure you're breathing. There we go. Get them off one at a time. There's two more right here. Three more. They keep coming. It's like Jesus. they keep on coming. It's ridiculous. Hey, look at this one. Look at this one moving. Look at this one moving. See him? Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. They look like living fish scales, guys. They're so weird. They're so weird. But they all must be sacrificed. Burn! Giant. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Parasites all over. Just disgusting guys so that's what I think that's pretty much all of them I'm gonna look over them uh, for a little bit longer and see if, I can, see if I can find any more luckily this is an isolated pond so I can treat this pond as one single body of water so I got most of them off this guy and they take off when you like when you're wiping the koi down like that they swim off so they swim off into the water you can lift them up and then release them and most of them will be off but I literally have got taken off hundreds and hundreds of this poor little koi and uh, they're still on her. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift her up after I give her a wipe down. All right, and now this beautiful koi going back home. Uh, come here, baby. Go ahead, swim on, buddy. But those things take a lot of their slime coat off. They make them susceptible to other diseases, guys. So what I'm gonna have to do is treat this pond because those little things will get on all the fish, although they're not on all the fish right now. Yeah, look at them moving. Look at them, look at them how fast they swim and stuff. Look, there's endless, there's just so many. There's nothing you can do. This crazy, crazy to see their eyeballs and them moving like that, guys. So yeah, tell me in the comments below what kind of parasites these things are. They're just ridiculous. They're pretty fast swimming too. This is really gross, but that's what happens in like the animal kingdom. And the koi looks great, everyone's okay. We're gonna catch you on the next episode and teach you how to treat koi. Get them all. Get them all. Get them all.